Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark and welcome back to another video. Usually on the channel I cover VPNs, but there's actually another free tool you can add to your setup that will vastly improve your privacy and security at large and it's not even going to really affect your speeds too much. In this video, we're gonna be discussing that trick, but first, check out one of my favorite affiliates that will help you get so you don't get toxed and reduce robocalls. Are you guys ever worried about getting doxxed? I know I am. That's why I use a service called Incogni. Now I've reviewed almost all the major data broker removal tools and I found that this one is the best. It's the cheapest and it also has a really good family plan as well. If you use my link in the description down below, you should be able to get 50% off Incogni. I have not been sponsored by Incogni for some time, but they are one of my top affiliates and they're one of my favorite products here on the channel because they prevent it so you don't get doxxed, it removes your information from websites. So if someone does find your IRL name, they won't be able to connect it to your address, phone number, and even your family members. Additionally, this can also give you less robocalls since companies aren't able to find your internet just like on it. The, um, they're not able to just find it like it's some public message board. So if you guys wanna help support the channel and get one of my favorite products, click the link in the description down below. So guys, if you didn't know, when you're browsing the internet, your internet service provider can pretty much see everything that you're doing, especially when it comes to what websites you're visiting. They do this through domain name system records or DNS records. Basically, it finds out the IP address of the website you're trying to reach and they can see what websites you're looking at. Think of DNS like a phone book, and usually the request when you visit a website goes through your ISP's DNS server, and that's how they log the websites you're visiting. Most likely, they're selling this information, collecting it, selling it to the highest bidder, and just kind of screwing you over. And unfortunately, ISPs barely have any regulations on how they're supposed to protect this data. But what if there's a way to prevent ISPs from actually seeing this information? Well, that's when an encrypted DNS comes in. So guys, basically what encrypted DNS is a free service you can use. It's basically just a series of number you can plug into your router, your computer, or even your phone. And this will filter your DNS requests through that DNS. Now there are a lot of different DNS services out there. Some specialize in ad blocking and some are specialized more for privacy and security. They pr protect you from clicking on malware and stuff like that. So you guys might be wondering now, well, Tom, what is actually the difference between an encrypted DNF service and something like a VPN, which you usually review? Well, VPNs are a little different. They encrypt all your outgoing traffic. They don't just hide kind of like the DNS or websites and the names of those websites you're visiting. So your internet service provider can't really see what you're doing with your internet traffic. They might be able to see the amount of data or something like that, but not what you're doing on your internet traffic. Additionally, outside of just the encryption and privacy aspects of VPNs, they also unblock your restrictions they let you change your IP address at will, and lots of VPNs actually come with ad blocking and various other things and their own DNS servers that can provide similar benefits as an encrypted DNS. The downside with VPN is that you do have to pay, you do have to have it working, but the good news is with VPNs, they can also protect your IP address when torrenting and stuff like that. And generally that's not what an encrypted DNS is going to do. Encrypted DNS is more for just like browsing and stuff like that. And it's gonna give you a good layer of anonymity and privacy over kind of what websites you're looking at. And it will also give you more security when it comes to protecting you against malware and stuff like this. So you might be wondering, well, how does a simple code, um, like a series of digits in your router or even your computer actually end up protecting you from malware? Good question. Well, basically certain DNS um, providers use threat intelligence networks to identify and block known malicious websites. Whenever you try to access a website that's known as malicious, Quad9 or a various DNS that you choose will intercept it request and prevent the connection to that website. This will help you protect you from phishing attacks, ransomware, and other types of malware. And that brings me to my next point. What is the encrypted DNS provider that I recommend? Well, that's actually gonna be Quad9. Now I recommend Quad9 over other popular DNS services like Google DNS or Cloudflare DNS because privacy is really the main focus of Quad9. And subsequently, this is a privacy-related channel. 
Now, Google and Cloudflare might be a little bit faster than Quad9, but Quad9 definitely is industry standard for security and privacy. It blocks malicious websites very effectively, and it doesn't store any information about you using it. Most likely, you also won't really recognize any speed decrease when it comes to using something like Quad9. So guys, how do you set up Quad9? Well, basically all you do is copy this into your router settings. You just set this up as the primary, and then this as the secondary, you might need to reset your router or something like that and you're pretty much good to go you can also do this on your computer as well if you just want it on device by device basic basis and i could show you how to do that right now so guys basically what you do on your computer let's say you're using windows you just go to your network settings you're going to want to go to your um currently active um, network adapter in my case it's a gaming ethernet adapter you just click on the properties of ipv4 or internet protocol version 4 and then you're just going to copy the code into um use the following ip address or ip address do ipv6 so it's it would look something like this let's just show you um, if I could get this. All right, guys, I moved it so I could see it better. So basically what you do is you just click right here. And then if you prefer DNS, you would put it right here. So 9.9.9.9. And then for alternate DNS, you do 149, 112, 112, 112. And then you just click OK. And then you're going to be using quad DNS on your computer. Now for me, I don't need to do that because on my Asus router, it actually has a problem to use Quad9 as a DNS. If you guys are interested in that mesh routing system that I personally use that I love, it's the Asus ZenFi router system. That's very good. So what else is good about Quad9? Well, like I said, it, when it protects your privacy. When your device uses Quad9 normally, no data continue IP address is ever logged in any Quad9 system. Connections can employ encryption if your system supports it. An entire Quad9 platform is designed to be GDPR compliant from the first public announcement in 2017. Additionally, the website also has more information on how it blocks malware and stuff like that, getting to protect you from phishing and known links and stuff like that. However, I would always be careful clicking on things because you never know if it's always in its database. So this is kind of like I think of it like a firewall or some kind of secondary protection besides your just, you know, your common sense. So guys, overall, Quad9 is an excellent tool to enhance your privacy and security online. It's an excellent complement to VPN and shouldn't really interfere with your VPN use. At the end of the day, you could use both, um, but for people in your household who might not be using a VPN, for example, or might not want to deal with it, this is a good way to also give them more privacy and security without have them having to fuss with it. This is also nice because you could set it at a router level. You can also do the same thing with a VPN, but in my experience, encrypted DNS like this will cause less compatibility issues at the same time it's less powerful than a vpn in some respects you can't ge unblock geo restrictions change your ip willy-nilly protect your ip while torrenting etc so there are still uses for each one but this is definitely just an interesting tool in your toolbox that you should be taking advantage of all right guys thanks for checking out incognito if you want to help support the channel and get even more privacy and data protection tools and i'll see you again in the next video very soon